hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hello you're new here today we are going to be doing something very interesting that so, I hope you guys enjoyed this too because, like, I am so excited. I'm not even gonna hold the anticipation for you. Today, I'm going to be making whatever this is. I made this. Oh, God. It. Oh. That'll do. A glass with a cork in it, and I put a bunch of sand in it. So, I'm gonna be dyeing sand today. Okay, now that we have gotten everything that we need, we can start the project, which I'm very, very excited about. You'll need one of these little containers. I got these from Michaels. Do I need to ask myself what colors do I want? What colors do I want? There's only four colors to pick from, so I've got to choose wisely. I guess I'll go with red. Dang. But now you need to uh, mix your sand. But I've got my red shade that I wanted. And now I'm gonna start filling it into this little container with this huge funnel and a spoon. So I need to go back to school. This is the amount of red sand I used. And now I'm going to put in some white sand in between the red and the other layer I'm going to be doing. I wouldn't recommend doing um, a layer of color in between the colors unless you're gonna let the sand dry because this happened when I put white in between them and the colors faded into the white, so it's most likely going to make a light brown color if you have bright colors. So, yeah. That is the amount of white sand I put. You don't have to put that much. I just decided to put that much because I just felt like it's going to blend. I'm going to go with this dark blue I have over here. Oh, I just realized what I did. Dang it! <laughs> I'm dumping that back out. No! So the color I'm going to do next is going to be this yellow kind of green. Here's the kind of color that I got from that yellowish green. And now I'm just going to add it on top of the red and white. Camera. Here's the final result of what I have uh, made. Now, of course, you can put other things in these little jars, and in fact, I might just do that. I have filled it up with water. I'm gonna do blue. I'm just gonna name it Fairy Tears. Oh my gosh, that's a lot darker, darker than I expected. There's my bottle of fairy. That looks so cool. I don't know what the cork is gonna do or how the water is gonna stay in there, so. Try your own risk. Here's the final result of the fairy tears. And here is the result of the sand pouring. Um, I'm going to hot glue these shut so that they can't spill all over my carpet. I will see you guys in my next video. I enjoyed making the, this jewelry a lot. I really want to do more stuff like this in the future on my channel. So if you like to see stuff like this, definitely let me know by liking this video. I will see you guys either next week or whenever I decide to post next. <laughs> Bye!